Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to Mars Hello Today. I'm Danny. I'm Cameron. I'm Audrey. I'm Malcolm. I'm Seth. Good morning, Monticello. Happy Friday and welcome to Monticello Today. We have some important announcements for you today and we're excited to roll out a new feature called the Friday Forecast where the Monticello Weather Center will bring you weekly updates on weather-related news, events, and forecasts. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first announcement is about the pep rally today. Attention all students who have filled out a pep rally release form. Students will be released out the front doors in three groups depending on the first letter of your last name. A through F will line up at one desk, G through N at another, and O through Z at the third. Please look for your name range posted on the glass window next to the appropriate desk. Be prepared to sign yourself out at the desk. In order to be released, your parents must have notified the attendance office that you have permission to leave. Also, don't forget to buy a $1 raffle ticket during lunch today for your chance to pie at administrator. Behind the wheel driver education classes are available before and after school, during the school day for students who have an open or free period, and on weekends by appointment. The current registration fee is $229, and that will be going up soon, so register now to beat the price increase. Ms. Newhauser is available in the cafeteria every Wednesday to sign up. Here's an announcement from the Monticello yearbook staff. For our 2014 and 2015 yearbook, the Declaration is purchased over the next two weeks, then a student or family is eligible to purchase last year's edition of the Declaration for 50% off. Also, the 2012 and 2013 edition of the Declaration will be 75% off again. The deductions in price are only eligible for students who purchase the 2014 and 2015 edition of the Declaration over the next two weeks. The purchase of these previous editions will be at a first-come, first-served basis. The price of our 2014 and 2015 yearbook is $70. Please see Mr. Colombano with any questions or payment options. The MHS Scholastic Bowl team is forming right now. Buzz in, answer questions, and score points for our team. We will practice Tuesday, September 9th during Mustang morning in Mr. Keith's room, B208. All students are welcome. If you have a Mustang morning but are interested in playing, please let Mr. Keith know. Scholastic Bowl will also practice once or twice each week before or after school. It's cool to know stuff, so come play on the Scholastic Bowl. There will be a brief Latin Honor Society meeting on Tuesday, September 9th during Mustang morning at B210. Attention Fishing Club members, you need to come see Coach Job next week before school or Monday or Tuesday in the health room. If you have a fishing license, bring it with you. Be sure to check out the College and Career Center for information on upcoming college visits. These visits will begin on Monday. St. Mary's College of Maryland will be here, so if you want to attend, don't forget to follow these steps. One, sign up on the binder outside of the College and Career Center. Two, you must sign up on the individual sign-up sheet 24 hours in advance. Three, you must take a green pass from the front of the binder and get it signed by your teacher 24 hours in advance. Four, it doesn't matter if you have study hall, research, or independent study. You will not be permitted to enter the meeting if your name is not on the list and you do not have a signed pass. Five, do not beg your teachers to allow you to come to visit at the last minute. Six, Applying to college requires planning and diligence. Take ownership of the process and follow the proper procedures. Please see Mrs. Neal in the College and Career Centers with any questions. That's all of the announcements for today. Now let's head, let's head to the Sports Report with Cam, followed by Jack with your forecast, and then another edition of Turner Time. Have a great weekend, everyone, and have fun at the pep rally. Good morning and welcome to the MHS Sports Report. There will be a meeting for boys interested in playing soccer at Monticello this year at the start of Mustang morning today in the forum. The boys varsity golf team continued their successful start to the year by taking down Fluvanna yesterday with a team score of 152. Ryan Pace led the way with a 33, followed by Danny Larrabee at 38, Robert Dean at 39, and Andrew Ramillion at 42. Last night, the varsity field hockey team lost a close game against Cole Pepper with a final score of 2-1. to one. Sienna Pike scored the goal for the Mustangs. Tonight, the varsity football team opens their season against George Whiff at home. Kickoff is set for 7.30. Get ready, maniacs. That's all for the sports report today. As always, thanks for watching. Now here's Jack with your Friday forecast. I can't
Good morning, Montreal. This is Chief of Special Track Maxwell from Montreal Weather Center with your game forecast for tonight's game. Right now, the temperature is around 7 degrees. We have not had any rain in the past 24 hours. We are monitoring the weather for potentially thunderstorms, which can produce heavy rain and gusty winds. So, the high of 90 with a 40% chance of rain. Then, tonight, 70, low of 70 and 50 50 chance of thunderstorms. You can follow us on Twitter at MHS Weather 16 and like us on Facebook. And now here's Dr. Turner with his Dr. Turner time. It's Turner time, Dr. Turner time. Fridays go great when you watch Turner time. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. It's Turner time, Dr. Turner time. Fridays go great when you watch Turner time. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. What's up, Monticello? This is Dr. Turner. Welcome back to Turner time. Hey, look, um, you know, tonight we, we have a uh, football game. I believe, uh, I'm sure it is, it's the first regular season game. If uh, you can fit it in your schedule, I'm sure um, the athletes would love to see you out there. Uh, I would love to see you there supporting the team and the school, uh, as well as um, the parents. I think um, when you all come out and, and show that you are a part of what's going on here, it, uh, it sends a great message. Um, you know, first couple of weeks of school, I think, have been, have been good. This week we started back with Mustang Morning. For those of you all who, who, are, uh, who are returning students, you, you know what that is. And for our freshmen, that's, that's new. I, I just want to uh, say that please make sure that you take advantage of Mustang Morning. Don't, don't, don't try to find all kinds of ways to not go to a teacher if you've been drafted or if you know that you need some help, you want some extra help, um, just, just you know, take, take that time, take that 30 minutes to take advantage of, of that opportunity. Uh, we're going to continue to try to make sure that we are covering the areas um, uh, where students go when they're not drafted. And, uh, you know, currently right now, the small gym or the little gym uh, is, is not available for students. Uh, it's it's uh, students are assigned to the or can attend or go into the large gym, or they can go out back. And we and we have supervision out there. So so uh, please don't don't become frustrated or angry with one of the staff members if they ask you to leave the little gym because right now that's that's not an area that we will supervise. Um, I've talked with the admin team and they felt like the first couple of days of Monday morning has gone well and I just want to keep that up. Uh, please also remember that we're not allowing students to just hang out in the uh, red and green hallways because again, uh, it requires a level of supervision that, that right now we're, we're not able to, to provide. We, we have the areas that we supervise and that's where uh, young people need to be during Monday morning. Also, um, I, I want to leave you all with this. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk all day here, but um, I, I, want, I want you all to think about something. Uh, you know, if you're finding already that some courses or classes are hard, if you're uh, having to work a little bit harder or a little bit longer or ask a few more questions just to um, try to understand what uh, you have to do for, for your assignments. Uh, I, I want you to know to, that that's, that's part of learning and it's uh, learning is a process and don't become discouraged or frustrated with that. Uh, sometimes you, you, you are still just, um, you, you are not ready and it's, and it's okay to not be ready to be able to do something uh, extremely well. Sometimes you have to work on it. Uh, you know, I share a personal story. When, when I was writing my dissertation, 
I became extremely frustrated uh, because my chair sent me back a couple of times when I was ready to defend my proposal. And um, I just couldn't understand why I had to keep working on it and working on it and working on it. But one of the things that my chair told me was that it, it's, it's, you, you, you're just not ready. It's, it's not that you're not going to get ready, or it's not that you're not going to be ready or do well. Just right now, you, you, you're just not ready. So the, the point I want to leave with you all is that just because you're not doing as well as you may want to do, it, it, it may be just because you're just not ready. You still need to work on some things so, so you can um, uh, do an excellent job. Uh, that's just part of life. So don't become discouraged or frustrated or feel like it's not worth it because you can't do it the way that you want to do it uh, from the start, okay? Just keep working. As long as you keep working, you'll get there, all right? Um, that's it for me. I am extremely proud of all of you all. Um, I love you more than I can put into words, and uh, I want you to have a great Friday and an outstanding weekend, and hopefully I'll see some of you all uh, this evening. Peace. Like MHS TV on Facebook.